Okay, we'll, uh, we'll do a video on how to make char cloth. Char cloth comes in very handy to keep in your survival tin. It's just cloth that we've charred. This is an old bandana, so I'll use this. So basically all you need is some cloth and a tin with a hole in the middle, a small hole. cloth in your tin, cotton, keep it shut. You don't want a blazing fire, just some hot coals, just enough to uh, to get it into flame. And all you do, you leave that on there. And then in a minute you'll see some smoke coming through the hole. And all you do, you let that continue to burn until the smoke stops smoking. And then let the tin cool down and you should have some char cloth. And like I say, keep the char cloth in your survival tin and all you need is a spark of your flint and steel. If you've got a flint and steel, a slight spark and it just smoulders just like um, cramp balls or anything like that. And then you can put that in your nest and blow it into flame or whatever other way you want to use it for. Okay, so this is cooled down now. So we'll have a look inside. There we go, seems to be okay. It's breaking up nicely. Just try it. I would have liked to have brought me flints and steel, but I forgot it. Um, so all you need on that is a light spark. See it glowing. And you put that in your tinder bundle. And you blow it into flame char cloth so all you need is an old bandana or some cotton you know something made of cotton a tin with a hole in put it inside your tin put it on the fire not too hot of flames just hot coals or just lightly flickering flame. Leave that until the smoke stops coming out of there. Let it cool down, don't you, when it's hot. And you have your char cloth. If it's not quite done, we still see some of the that it hasn't been charred. Put it back on the flames for another couple of minutes, it's no problem. So you have a char cloth handy to have in your survival to an easy snack. Thank mm -hmm. you. 